Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord. Uh, first of all, we want to make sure that you uh, disactivate your game mode in your window. So really important to put game mode at half. Uh, after that, make sure that your game bar is at off, really important. And all those capture background recording and recorded audio at off, really important. Also, I recommend make sure that you update your uh, NVIDIA GeForce driver or AMD, whatever... Uh, uh, GPU that you're using really important in this game and also if you have some struggle with the game uh, Maybe you should deactivate your vi uh, antivirus or um, Firewall, uh, I heard a couple of people uh, have some issue with it. So uh, maybe you should definitely test this So now we will go inside of the game and after that we will go in the config file uh, to optimize your game So let's go inside of the game. So inside of the game click option first of all uh, let's start with video. So first of all, make sure that you're playing at full screen. Really important. Uh, you will lose a couple of FPS if you're playing borderless or window mode. For the screen resolution, I recommend to use your resolution and your number of Hertz depending on your monitor. Don't go with the desktop resolution uh, by default in this game. Make sure that you're setting the one that you normally use. Resolution scale go with 100. Don't downscale this game. You will get some blurriness and stuff. So you don't want to do that. And uh, one more thing, frame limiter, use the number of Hertz of your screen. So if you have a 144 Hertz screen, lock your FPS at 144. If you have 60, lock at 60. If you have a really old uh, CPU um, or really old laptop, whatever, with an old CPU too, and you're getting some random stuttering, I recommend to lower your sound channel. It will help you a lot for stuttering. So test mid. If you still have stuttering, go with low and it can help you a lot. Now let's start with performance. The first one is battle size. For sure, it has a huge impact on your FPS. So for an example, if you have a laptop, integrate video card, stuff like that, just go with 200 and you should be fine. If you have like something like with a GTX 960, go with something like 400, something like that. Tough to get the proper number. Uh, if you have like a mid-range computer, go at mid a size on the bar and if you have uh, like I don't know like a, a good i7 with a 1070 1080 something like that you can even go higher on this battle size honestly you have like a slider that you can use so just definitely do some testing but first change all the graphic param parameter that I will show you and after that go with your battle size because you will need to test your graphic parameter first so I recommend just go with like something like 400 do your graphic parameter first, uh, bench, so look at your FPS. If you're happy with your FPS, maybe you can uh, put more in the battle size, but uh, definitely do your testing uh, on your part. After that, shader quality. Shader quality, go with medium. For each bracket here, you can gain 2%, so no, not a huge deal. Uh, texture streaming and texture quality, this one depends on your VRAM. So as you can see, you have your VRAM over there. Uh, the, for me, it's it's fine, but I guess if you have just two gig of VRAM, you definitely need to lower this. Uh, also, I recommend to just uh, let 10% um, empty when you're uh, changing your graphic parameter. You don't want to go like uh, at 100% because you probably will get some stuttering. After that, the most important uh, parameter here is the shadow. Shadow quality, shadow type, shadow filtering. Put this one at low, none, and none. Uh, it will help you a lot, like 20% boost in your FPS just for those three. Uh, particle detail and particle quality uh, will help you if you have a stuttering when you're fighting in this game. So for nor normally, if you like, uh, at, if you're putting medium over there, you should put medium over there too. Uh, just make sure that you're matching both. Uh, and if you're still getting like some stuttering when you're fighting, go with low. So that's about it. Foliage quality, it's pretty much the, um, it's not the biggest boost that you can get. It's a um, shadow, but honestly, you can gain like 3% for each bracket over there. So that's huge. So if you go with something with very low, you will gain a lot of FPS. So foliage is really important in this game. Character detail is not a huge deal. I did some comparison, honestly, and I or even medium uh, are fine. You, you're losing like 1% of FPS. It's not a huge deal. Uh, environment detail and terrain quality. This one, I recommend medium for terrain quality. Uh, environment detail, sorry, I recommend medium. I didn't see a huge uh, difference between high and medium, and you're getting a couple of FPS more, so go with medium. 
Steering quality uh, was a bit different on my laptop. Honest, when I did a difference, a comparison between medium and low, I was like losing 5 FPS. So uh, when I was playing medium, so this one can help you a bit. So depending on your computer, go with low. If you have a decent computer, go with medium. Number of ragdoll, if you have like a really old computer, a Night 3 or Core Zero, stuff like that, go with zero. Uh, it will help you a lot. If you have like a decent CPU, like an i5, something like that, go with five. Occlusion method, put this one at none. Texture filtering really depend 4x or 8x. Uh, it will help you. You need some space on your VRAM though. Um, water quality here, 2% for each bracket. Not a huge deal. I'm playing at medium. Anti-aliasing. I really don't like the anti-aliasing in the, in the game and in games in general. I feel like it's a bit blurry when I play. If you want to use some, go with SMAA or FXAA or just remove it and you will gain a nice a chunk of FPS. Lighting quality, I recommend medium. Decal quality can help you a lot also. Also, if you have an old computer, honestly, you can get like 2 to 3% for each bracket. So something like very low can help you a lot. And for the rest of the graphic parameter, just uncheck everything. It will give you another 10%. So uh, depth of field, screen space reflection. Screen space ref reflection is kind of huge in this game. You will get a lot of FPS. Tessellation too. So just uncheck everything over there and press done. After that, so now your config file. To find it, you need to go to document, mountain blade 2 banner lord, and config. After that, open engine config over there. So this is pretty much where you can find all the graphic parameter that you change. The only thing that you need to make sure is the display. Uh, make sure that you have your, the proper resolution, even if you did it in the game, because a lot of it person have issue with it. And also make sure that your display refresh rate is kind of like what you choose. It's never like 144 hertz, but if you see something like 143.99, you should be fine with that. So that's about it. If everything is matching with what you choose in the game, you should be fine. Press X. If you need to block the file because you have whatever issue and you need to change in, change it in the engine uh, config, right click on it, click properties, make sure that you are at read only. So that's about it guys. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Uh, post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.